All right, so as part of my recommended approach to protecting your home from an EMP or solar storm's coronal mass ejection, I call out three different steps. One of them is to in install a quality surge protection device, and I talk about what I mean by a quality surge protection device in a, the previous video. The next is to install some high saturation ferrites over your incoming service wires uh, from your service meter. And then the third one is to install, install some small broadband ferrites over the power cords of very sensitive electronics. All right? so, here I show two of the steps. Um, I've installed uh, a quality surge protection device. Now this one is the Siemens First Surge 140, which I really like. Um, I do have links to various places you can buy it. I don't sell it on my website, um, but I think it's a very good quality product and I talk about why in the previous video. And then the second are these three ferrites here. These are been specially modified to allow a lot more current to go through them before they saturate. And that's really important for this application, all right? And I'll go ahead and zoom in and show a little bit about the, uh, the surge protection device as well as the ferrites on the wires. Uh, and then we'll, we'll take a good look at how these ferrites actually attach to the wires with a little demonstration I have. So this shows the first surge 140 installed in the breaker panel. Now the manufacturer will have directions on how it's installed and connected. I don't sell this product. I just believe in it. I think it's a very good quality product. Um, so I put it in my, my particular house as well. So it has four wires coming off of it. Two of them go to a breaker, which can be a 20 amp breaker it was recommended by Siemens. Uh, I actually used a 30 amp breaker, but I think either one would be fine. And it's a double pole breaker so that you can attach both line one and line two to that breaker. All right, so that's the upper left breaker here. Uh, this breaker here would be the one that was installed for it, okay? All right, so that's the surge protection device. Uh, you have the line one, line two, uh, the neutral, and the ground, and that attaches in fairly straightforward. Uh, again, I always recommend you have an electrician do this sort of thing. Uh, the, the working inside of a breaker panel box is very dangerous. Uh, even if you throw the master breaker, uh, there, are, there are areas of the panel that are still live and could still kill you. So if, you don't, if you're not very familiar with wiring electricity in homes, you shouldn't work inside the breaker panel box. All right, but that's uh, shown there, and I'll, next I'll go ahead and show the ferrites. Okay, so this shows the three different ferrites. So my house has uh, three lines coming in from the service connection. It has the line one and line two, which are the two black wires. Then it has a shared grounded neutral line. So these are the line one and line two, and that's the shared uh, neutral ground line. And so now these are hot, no matter whether you throw the breaker or not. Okay, so these lugs here would be uh, very dangerous. Uh, you could, if you touch those, you'd obviously be hurt if not killed. So the breakers though, I'm sorry, the ferrites though, attach around those wires, the insulated portion of the wires there, and they, they clip around it. Now, rather than work in this live box, I'll show you on a little uh, section of wire that I have uh, just to show you how those click on, all right? And, and the, it does take a little bit of effort to get those to latch properly. All right, so, but one goes on each of the wires that comes in. Now, if you have a separate ground and a separate neutral line, you'd need four ferrites, one for each of the two lines, one for the ground and one for the neutral. All right, in my case, I only had three. All right, so that shows how the ferrites are actually attached. Now, one thing I will say about ferrites is if you get a lot of current through ferrites, right now there's not a lot of current to my, going to my house, but if you get a lot of current, you might hear a very faint buzzing from them, and that's very natural. That's ferrites have a tendency to do that. So don't let that alarm you. All right, so I'd like to show you how the ferrite attaches around the various wires. Uh, it may seem obvious, but there's a couple little details that you'd want to know. So what I've done is I've just... Uh, just bought a little short piece of, of house wire, a service entrance wire here. This is 4 aught wire, which is a little over half an inch wide. And then it has this shared um, combined neutral ground, which a lot of homes do. Mine does as well. Uh, some homes have four wires instead of these three, where this is broken out into two different wires, a line and a, I'm sorry, a ground and a neutral. So let's show uh, how this works. So, uh, we're going to put a ferrite around each wire. If it was in the panel box, that's what we do. And what we want to do is make sure we know how to put those on. Now, again, these two black wires in your panel box will be hot. So you'd have to be very careful to stay away from any metal connections. And I always recommend that you have an electrician or a trained expert do it uh, so that, you know, to minimize uh, risk to yourself. So, so what we've got is we've got a, a ferrite here. This is one of the high saturation ferrites. And inside the box now, what you do is you'd You'd slip it around the, the wire, and I will usually recommend that you turn the clasp toward you so you can see it and you're not working you know, back in the back. And if you squeeze the ferrite together, it won't clamp shut, and you'll think maybe it's too small. 
But what you have to do is you have to, you have to push on this actual clasp to get it to latch, okay, like so. They make them very tight for that, uh, so that they'll make a good connection uh, with the ferrous material. So that's the way that that's done. And it'll have a nice snug fit, okay, so that's how it's done now. If for some reason you have to take it off, then you have to pry back up underneath this, and it comes off a little easier than it goes on, as long as you can get your finger underneath that, that clasp, okay? So same way on the, uh, the ground or the neutral. Uh, sometimes this is quite a bit smaller, this wire is, so it can be a little bit easier. But again, I recommend you put the clasp toward you. You, you push them together like so, and then you're going to push down on the clamp. Now, depending on how this is, there might be thick parts or thin parts, but just like so. This one was small enough you didn't have to push on it. And that shows how the ferrite goes over those wires. Now, if your wires are smaller for some reason, maybe you have a 100 amp service feed instead of a 200 amp, this ferrite might be a little loose and it may slide. And that's okay. The ferrite does not have to fit really tight for it to be effective. If it does slide, just make sure it slides down to somewhere that's not going to interfere with anything and it won't move after it's down there. Just make sure it's uh, in some kind of a stable location. It doesn't have to fit tight. A lot of people ask that question. And a lot of times on the ground neutral connection, it'll be a little bit loose. Now, in my case in this one, it's not. But out in my actual panel box, it is a little loose and it sort of slides. So just slid it somewhere where it would sit stable. And that's that, okay? So again, there's three wires. You'd put three different ferrites. Um, staying well away from the metal ends. You don't want to get anywhere near those metal ends. Uh, if there were four wires, you'd use four ferrites, okay? And that's how it's done. Uh, again, I just wanted to show about clicking those closed. A lot of times when you push them closed, you have to push down on the uh, actual latching mechanism to get them to seat. You have to squeeze them pretty tight to get them to seat as well, okay? All right, that's how those ferrites are used.